So this version of Crash Nitro Kart is the only other versions of this are on like old mobile phones and the N-Gage. Not going alphabetically anymore? I don't think so. No, because that would mean that I'd have to beat Alice right now, and I'm not I'm not beating Alice tonight. I'll be jumping around. This game supports the boomerang controller, but I'm gonna play it with the controller first. Cause I'm, you know, wanna get used to it before I start using motion controls. So the N-Gage version of this has a really awkward Resol like, you know, screen resolution. So this will be a pretty decent way to play this game, I think. Uh, I don't think there's any way to put this in English. Doesn't look like it. I don't know if this means start a new game or what. music. Yeah, I've, I've streamed the Engage version before. It's pretty okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll be using the joystick for this game. Thank you. One or three. Jump? Okay, I'm gonna be using ZR for sure. Yeah. I gotta jump over the red lines, I guess. Well, I like that yeah. the buttons are mapped to shoulder buttons. That's a hell of a lot nicer than the N-Gage controls. This game's got some banger soundtrack, huh? ZR plus right to what drift? And we're drifting in here now, shit. Wasn't expecting that. I don't remember how the engage version played, honestly. But I'll take drifting in a janky kart racer. It's better than nothing. Is a fast start? I don't think so. I mean, he got a fast start. How did he get a fast start? Oh, my word. Maybe I should try D-pad. Yeah, I think I'm going to use D-pad instead. I think I have more control, honestly. I like the sound of the engine. It sounds like somebody is like running a stick along a wooden fence. It's oh, nice. The frame rate is struggling. I just pr pretend I'm playing a Switch game. That's all. But honestly, the, the frame rate on the end gauge is just as bad. It's not smooth, so... Would have been nice if this had smoother frame rate, but it is what it is. It's not, it's not easy to control, I'll tell you that. But it's better than playing it with a touchscreen, I guess. Second. First place is right up here. What? So apparently if you use a boost and you try and go over the, the dirt, it still slows you down. It's essentially a green shell. Alright, still got one more lap. Just 
in case you're wondering, this um, is actually not the same game as Crash Nitro Kart, which I'm sure the vast majority of you have actually played. This is this is a its own game, like I said. The only platforms this specific this is Nitro Kart 3D. The only versions that this specific one are on are Engage, old mobile phones, and Zebo. So you know the the three everybody's three favorite platforms. All right, final lap. I don't. This ain't looking too good for me, honestly. Ooh, okay, we might have a chance. I don't know what I got a place to continue. I'm assuming third at least. Come on, go. Good enough, right? I mean, I'm ready to get back to Alice eventually, but not tonight. I want to play other games on the Zebo rather than force myself to worry about Alice. Okay, it looks like as long as I hit third, we'll hit the podium and... Wait, what? So is that like a quick race? What is this? What is... Iniciar Partida? Tutorial? Copa? What is happening right now? Wait, what is all this? Maybe I have to finish in first? Maybe not? Maybe that was a practice race? Let's try this again. Okay, it looks like that might have been a practice race. So let's let's just do this cup. I mean, I'm gonna stay as Crash, right? I can't even select these other characters. I wish I knew how to get faster. Doing a little better. I don't care about the letters because I can barely see them anyway, so I know I'm not going to get all of them. And they're hard to collect as it is. Still planning on speedrunning this. I mean, it would be nice to get a Zebo run of this up on the boards. The person that does speedruns of this, they have speedruns in like a ton of Crash Bandicoot games, so I don't know. Their run might actually be crazy good. They're also using an N gauge to, to do it, so like, I don't know if that gives them any specific advantage or what. Even if I don't get the record, I would still love for them to have to add my run, just to have Zebo on there. Loranda. Okay, that is definitely not a red shell. Boom, get out of here. Good turn. Look at that, we're experts already. AI here is fierce, though. Absolutely fierce. Okay, that actually messed me up more than helped me. I should only use that when I'm really far behind. But I wanted to get rid of it. I'm pretty sure Zebo is in their database, because FIFA has it listed, apparently. So... Should be in there. I wonder if getting apples gives me more speed in this version. God, the dirt is so brutal. I don't think you should slow down when you're using a boost in the dirt. It's like, you can't shortcut anywhere. I'm 
missed the A. Well, I'll tell you though, this is a hell of a lot nicer playing it on a TV like this rather than the N-Gage. Maybe I need to press gas the second that it turns red. I wonder what happens if I use this in first. Nothing, apparently. Wait, what? Wait, I'm not in first? Hold on, why does it say, like, two degrees in the bottom? I thought that was my position. Who's in first? very confused right now. I don't see anybody in front of me. Oh, that is a very simple course. <laughs> Second race, maybe? Mm, no, because look, I just fell in the third place when he passed me. Very weird. It's like there's somebody in first that is invisible, or the game's glitch. Holy ma- that is actually a very powerful blind effect. Very strong. Apparently Cortex was in front of me that whole race. I think it was glitched. <laughs> I don't think he was in front of me. We're still in the lead, though. At least the music has been a little bit better than the menu music. My god, the menu music was terrible. Oh. That's actually cool. Damn. Okay, I wasn't expecting a jump like that in this game. Move over Mario Kart. Ooh, that is brutal. Was that because he's a heavy cart? I wonder if just jumping is better than drifting. It seems like I lose too much traction when I jump, though, without drifting. Getting flattened in this game is very brutal. As is driving in the off-road. Hold on to this warp. See, now I'm actually in first place. Now it's correct. Okay. I'm gonna wait until he gets a little further ahead. And then use it on this turn. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that, like, glitching out my position maybe when I use that ability? Oh, you know what? Maybe when I used that ability, when there was nobody in front of me, it glitched out and kept me in second place the whole race. I did that in that race, I'm not sure. Ooh, man, it is really hard to control it here. Good time for a boost. This is a fun track, I like this one. Uh, you still got first place worth of points, so it was a display problem. Okay, that's good. Shoot. Damn it, that's not good. Go. Sorry, crabs. I think you're actually better off not drifting in this game when you can avoid it. Because you don't get drift boosts. So if you can take a turn tighter without boosting, and I, I honestly believe that most of the time... Just normal turning is going to be better, because drifting makes you... It's really hard to control. Especially coming out of it. I just feel like I have better control doing my neat adjustments around turns. 
See if I can nab the first place right at the last second. Nice. Is this an exclusive crash game? Not exactly. It's on N-Gage, but like, this is the only console version that exists. So it's on mobile phones and N-Gage. But remember, the N-Gage version has a very weird display, so this is like... This is a better version than the N-Gage. I don't know if it's better than the original mobile version, though. I'm not sure what the frame rate looks like in that. I mean, it really just depends if you'd rather play it on a phone with touch controls, or... play it on a TV with a controller. So, with a reduced, potentially reduced frame rate. Another nice, decent looking level. Uh, hmm, let me see. I'm sh maybe something like this is better for drifting. Can't drift once you're in here, though. Merlin Racing? Yeah, I played Merlin Racing. It's, it's okay. It's definitely the best kart racing series out of those um, budget kart racers. hit stun in this is ridiculous. At least there's a nice visual variety in the tracks in this game. Okay, good time to use this. Or not. Only brings me to the person in front of me. Can I drive across this? No, man, this game is not playing around with off-road. Hard for me to read chat in this. Anytime I try to read chat, I'm chat, just driving into a wall. Okay, we're gonna try doing this again without drifting. Just better turning control. Ooh, that was close. This makes you want to play in a, a retro kart racer. Oh, uh, there's a lot of them on PlayStation 1. If that's where you're looking to play it on. Wow, that's a sound effect. the Zebo controller. Uncomfortable, but it's usable. Yeah, this is a tight race. I mean, I'd rather have it this way than just racing against myself the whole time. Ah, I keep forgetting that there's a boost there. Oh no! Oh no! Ah. Oh. oh, can I go around the side? Man, I should have committed to that. I figured, like, what happens if you miss it? Okay, please, I need something good. Come on, come on. Good, go! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that works. Perfect power up. As long as I come in third. race. Yeah, there's a couple variations of the controller. This game supports motion controls, which I will try, but I, I, I just, I know it's going to be almost unplayable. Nice. First place. 
I like the way Crash looks in this game. He, he looks like the equivalent of what Sonic looked like in the Sonic movie before they made the update. Like, for real, he looks just like him. <laughs> just orange. Yeah, no idea what any of that said. Oh, let's see here. We'll check out the other cups. One. Okay, so you have to go in order. Three. Okay, there's three cups. That's not bad at all. Twelve, twelve tracks. Let me see, um... Let me just check this real quick. Crash. Nitro. Cart. Greedy. Wait, what? What do they call this? Why is this not appearing at speedrun? Crash. I'm just checking what they do for their run on this. Okay, they do all missions? Wait, all missions? There are missions in this game? Hold on. Did you guys see an option in here for missions? Or do they mean all courses? Oh, these are missions? Three, four, five, six, seven? Eight? You only race this crash for one of them? Oh no, two of them, three of them, okay. All right, let's see what the hell the missions are all about. Why not? We'll do a couple missions and then I'll do the other um, Grand Prix. Still no idea. Did I get a fast start? No. Still no idea how you get a fast start in this game. Okay. Did, did I hope? I really hope he didn't tell me what my mission was. Because if he did, I, ooh, the skill shot. If he did, I might be in trouble. Maybe he said like hit a certain amount of opponents, or maybe I just need the finish in first. Get him. Nice. Wow. Actually hitting people with weapons in this game. Of course. Only two laps, though. That's kind of nice. You know it's gonna happen, right? It happens in all kart racers. When you put down items to try and hit people that are driving behind you, AI, they never hit it, and then on your next lap, you crash into it. Thankfully, this is my last lap. <laughs> come on, come on. Looks like I got a decent lead on them. I wonder if rubber banding is a thing. Man, I should have been running my timer. Just in case I had like a crazy all missions finish. Just submit it to speedrun.com by default. I could always do that. The missions are very specific. Really? Well, that's not good. Complete all eight missions in story mode. Timing starts when you start the first mission, ends when you cross the finish line to beat the final mission. Hmm. I wonder what the missions are.
Wait, did I just restart the mission because I failed it? Okay. If anybody can read this, let me know if you notice, like, anything out of the ordinary about what he's describing. I got a check mark. Is this the same mission? Did I restart it by mistake? Let's see. I don't know what that means, but let's try it. Okay, that's a restart. Menu? Okay. And then we go to missions. Uh, no, I did not do what I needed to do for whatever this is. Because I still can't do two. Damn, I wish Portuguese was like... At least Spanish, you can kind of like parse it out and kind of understand it. But this is on another level. I can't, par I can't make out any of this. Panda needs to finish ahead of Oxide. What? This mission is dependent on the AI? Oh my god. Okay. That's really interesting. Does it matter where I finish? Wow, interesting. Okay, so I gotta keep the panda in first. So it's like I'm helping out my panda friend and keeping this guy away from her. Oh shoot, you can actually fall off course there. I mean, it's interesting. It's not like I'm super opposed to missions like that. It's different. I just wasn't expecting something like that. Okay, I'm really far behind. I'm gonna try and get ahead. Oh, come on. Oh, there's a shortcut there on the right. Yeah, escort mission and a cart racer. I may actually need to restart this. No joke. Difficulty. I'm just pressing gas as soon as it turns green. It seemed like I got a fast start there. I mean, I made a noise, right? Got him. Wait, why don't I see the placement now of my panda friend? Didn't they show that to me or no? I guess not. I'm just gonna stay ahead of the pack because inevitably they're gonna pull ahead of me at some point. I'd rather have a front fire and weapon, however. Perfect. Okay, I gotta remember about that shortcut. Alright, pandas ahead. Apologies to the Crash Bandicoot fans, I have no idea what name that character actually is. Hello, JCW. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, panda. Yeah, yeah, come on now. Keep it together. I got your back. Wow, you can actually almost. I, I was very late on the gas there, and I almost didn't make it before I made the jump. Alright, we're on second lap. Just gotta. I mean, I'm gonna let the panda finish ahead of me. And just make sure that oxide is up to any shenanigans. Oh, shit. Get him! Get him! You gotta be kidding me. Come on, Panda, you got it. Wow, you can actually fall off here? No! No. 
Come on, I, I, uh. I think he. Damn, he made it in front of her. This is crazy. Okay, what does this mean? What is what is Trocar Day mission? This was Yaya's only game until she was brought back in Crash Team Race Racing Nitro Field. Oh, really? Okay. I'm assuming this just means like mission select, and this is restart mission. Wow, this is actually brutal. Alright, we'll we'll come back to mission mode, because that's let's go back to the GP so we can like see more of the game. That's pretty crazy. I'm not sure how I feel about the speedrun being all missions. That's kinda oof. It's a, it's an odd choice. Why isn't there an all GP mode? That's what I wanna know. Full completion is everything. Like, who the hell wants to do that? And collecting all the letters. Now they can have that. I, it, you ain't gonna find me going for that. Why isn't it all GP races? That makes no sense. I don't agree with that. There should be a there should be a run category for all the all four cups or all three cups. Mission mode sucks. I mean, for a speedrun, I think it does at least. Okay, some verticality to the track. And the off-road is just absolutely brutal. Who the heck puts off-road that close to a turn like that? Come on, just let us have free movement. you propose your own category. Oh, I'm sure I could, but it's a matter of them caring to add it. I mean, I can... Shoot, I can, I can write... I can write a message on the message board. I don't know if they'll get a notification that I posted a message there. Or reaching out to them on Discord or something, if they have a Discord, I don't know. Because I would, I would do runs of all three GP Cups, whatever they've tournament races. That would be fun to me. Mission mode? No, I'll pass on that, I think. I haven't even seen the other missions yet, though, so maybe I'll have to check them out. But, like, the first race is dependent on the AI. I, I don't know about that. Wow, fourth place. That was... harder than normal. Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to jump over stuff like that, right? That's... T that's actually really hard to time. I tried jumping at the end of the ramp to see if it would do anything. Courses are definitely not a pushover, though. Like, there's there's a lot of memorization that would go into these to do them optimally. There's there's a lot to the. You know what I actually like about this game? This is not a half-assed kart racer. Believe it or not, despite this game being mobile, engage, Zebo only, these tracks are like legit tracks. There's obstacles. There's lots of winding paths. There's lots of visual variety, which means that like. Coming to grips with learning these tracks is more doable because there's a lot of 
distinguishing features of each track, which is something important for me in kart racers. So you kind of know where you are just based on the background visuals and environments. Oh, man, that is brutal. There we go. Still hard as hell to control this, though, in case you can't tell. It's a very long track. This, like, this track here is very skill-based. Timing those jumps over those lasers is no joke. And if you hit them, you are spinning for a while. The only thing I'm not caring for in this game too much is the drifting. I feel like drifting is more detrimental than just trying to turn with more finesse, and I keep missing that shortcut. I'm missing all the shortcuts. I'm not really looking at my mini-map. I'm trying to just pay attention to where I'm going. And the challenge seems just right in this game. It's not super easy. It's not too hard, except for that person that's in first. There's no way I'm catching that. Oh, maybe I can. Ooh, oh. Ooh, they got hit. Okay. AI is not impervious. Stuff, man. That is such a difficult turn. I can't even describe to you how hard that is. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Whatever, third place. Hopefully they let me continue even if I come in third on the podium. Oh, currently I'm still in fourth, so I, I better pick up the pace here. Will my finale be Resident Evil 4? Well, I mean, keep in mind, I'm not... I'm not gonna beat Resident Evil 4 on Zebo because I still haven't played Resident Evil 4, period. So I don't want story spoilers, game progression spoilers. I don't want the Zebo version ruining my actual Resident Evil 4 playthrough. That's the kind of game that I will beat after I play Resident Evil 4, you know, within the next 10 years. Unless the Zebo version is so different, meaning like, you know, the mobile version, but still. It's gonna give away plot spoilers, obviously, and I'd prefer not. I will sample it, just because I know people want to see it, but I'm not gonna make it far. I'll make it to the chainsaw guy that chases me down, if that's even in the Zebo version, at the start of the game. Because originally when I played Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube, back, way back in the day, that's that's where I turned off the game and never went back. So if that's in Zebo, that's where I'll stop. Yeah, the drifting in this is super sensitive. Very wide, slippery turns. You do seem to gain a lot of speed, like, as you continue to hold the drift, though, but I don't know. There's actually a big speedrun community, apparently, for Resident Evil 4 on, like, the mobile version. Like, a huge leaderboard for the New Game Plus run. And everybody is from Brazil. So I would love to speedrun the Zebo version one day. From America. They'll be like, look at this dumb American clogging up our boards with a Zebo version. Damn, I really needed to come in first there. They just screwed me at the last second. Oh, no. Okay, Oxide didn't, didn't place, so that's good. have to come in it I have to come in like second or third here no fast start 
Not sure. Not sure how you get that. And I keep missing shortcuts. Yeah, but I don't know if I have to... Well, I guess I have to come in second place to be on third on the podium, right? But I'm not sure if I have to place first to be able to get the next, um... What the hell is this level, by the way? Did I just see a giant baby head looking at me? What the heck was that? I'm hoping I just need third. That is such a terrible power-up. Oh my god. Who wants to use that when it cuts out your acceleration? What? Oh my word. Well, at least the track's original. It's such a troll track. focus time, and I forgot the shortcut again. It's alright. We'll still get it. Just gotta get a nice speed boost here somewhere or something. Why am I in fourth? I should be further up than that. Uh, what the hell is that? It's a strange course. I was nowhere near that thing. Come on. Good. Come on, get this last speed boost. Good. Good, the comeback begins. Come on, come on, come on. No, no tombstones trolling me. Come on, get off the dirt. Come on, give me this. Yes, give me a speed boost. They wouldn't give me the item in time. They take so long. But I got second. That's okay. I think second gave me third on podium, right? Hopefully that's enough. Ooh, Cortex didn't finish at all. That's good. Because if the fourth place person would have came in first, I might not have made it. Uh, Does that mean I was disqualified? Okay, no, that looks promising. Come on, please. Nice. Okay, we got the last one. Where's my I, I, uh, at? I can't unlock her yet. I guess I'll just stay with Crash. I'm more used to his controls. I don't know if it's a cosmetic thing. But who doesn't want to play as, like, version 1 of Sonic the Hedgehog movie Crash design? Thank you, Sir Crips. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just the main cups, a nice short little speedrun. It's not too stressful. And then you got mission mode coming out of nowhere. It's like, listen, escort mission. Who the hell makes that the main category of the speedrun? When you can do this instead. I think that's somebody that just wants a free world record with no contention. Hmm. No, I'm just kidding. But like, come on. All tournament races just seems like the way to go. Ooh, the double. Get the camera. It's a decent looking track. I gotta say, I've actually been very impressed with the track designs in this. If this game was remade, you know, or at least had, like, a PS2 port or anything, this would be a legit version of Crash, uh, Crash Racing. I think people would have liked these tracks. Just refine the controls, fix the frame rate. I think people would like it. And honestly, this is really the only way to play this game on your TV, so shoutouts to the Zebo. Or at least with a controller. Okay, I was curious what that was, but now I know. This is last lap, though. Hold on. If I don't make, like, third, I'm gonna reset the tournament. Ooh. 
Oh, man, that one is so... Br that is actually brutal. Top, like, if somebody ever made a top ten list of, like, the worst power-ups to have used on you in a racing game, I think that would be a contender. If you don't know the track shit especially, I mean, even if you know the tracks, that is just crazy. Put a speed boost right into the sand. I, I do believe that the speed boost should carry you through off-road, though. Alright, we'll take third place. Mm, I've been trying different things to get a fast start. I still can't get it. frame rate on the suck any harder. I mean, it's bad, but it's still playable. It just, it, I mean, honestly, it just feels like I'm playing the end gauge version just on the TV. And like I said, if you just close your eyes and imagine that you're holding a Switch controller, it feels a little better. Oh, wow, look how cool this part looks. What the hell? Okay, I found my favorite course. Hopefully the rest of it holds up. Unfortunately, the rest of this course does not seem to hold up. The dodge. Somehow it says I'm in third, but on the minimap, I don't see a damn person in front of me. I think it's glitched again. Oh, no, wait, there are people in front of me. What the heck? The sound effects just glitched out, but I'm also not complaining. Not hearing my engine sound is fine by me. Okay, never mind. I mean, there's an N-Gage dev kit, but those things are, um, you know, pretty, pretty much non-existent. I like that one part of this course, but not anything else. Speed boost in the middle. Try drifting here. Honestly, I think I think if you get good at drifting, it is faster than turning normally. But you just gotta get really good at the drifting, what turns work and what don't. This game would be great though if they gave you just a little boost of speed after the drift. But that's not a thing. Kind of sucks to use speed boosts anywhere with off road. Alright, we're nearing the finish line here. I gotta get something good. Oh, come on. Oh. And I get passed by three people in traditional kart racer fashion, of course. I still got third at least, but sadly I don't I don't think I'm gonna have enough points to make the podium in this GP. Let's see. 
I mean, I'm still hanging in there. Thankfully, the other racer is just terrible. There might still be hope. Somebody actually tried to hit me. Good thing I have my shield up. Ugh. I don't pay attention to my mini map. I should I should honestly look at it here and there. So I can anticipate these shortcuts. Last place. Excuse me. Thank you. I can drive off road now. Maybe. Okay, shortcut coming up after this jump. Stay to the right. Oh, you've got to be joking me. Hazard mid jump. All right, maybe the shortcut can bring me back. Okay, definitely not. Come on, give me something good. End of the race is right after this turn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, I got second. Wow, I I definitely don't think I deserve that. It looked like he was ahead of me, so I, they might have gave that one to me. Okay, yeah, we've we've got this. There's actually no way that I can can lose this one. I really think the off-road stuff in this just makes the game worse. It never feels good to hit that off-road at all. Okay, first time I ever got that power-up. What, did I just confuse everybody? music doesn't really match this course. Take back what I said. It, yeah, the drifting is certainly better, but it's not easy. High learning curve for using it effectively. Because it's really easy to oversteer and hit a wall. Fifth place? What the hell? Sometimes I, f I feel like I look at my placement and it just fluctuates so wildly in this game. Come on. Come on. 
finish line. That was crazy. Like they would, they, I could not. St I didn't even make any mistakes there. Whatever, we still survived. Oh, that was the dark screen, right? That was close though. All right, well that's that's all the tracks in the game. That is GP mode. The only thing we have left is is mission mode. I'll try mission mode again, see if I can at least get past the first mission. So apparently what you need to do to beat mission one is make sure that Yaya, which is the other AI racer, Panda, make sure she comes in, in front of Oxide. Found a video that explains all the missions so you don't need to translate Portuguese. I'll thank the heavens. Okay, what does it say about this one? Does it matter what place I come in? Yeah, it, it, it looks very Spanish, but there's there's a lot of words that, I don't know, like, when it comes to Spanish, sometimes, it, as long as you just, like, know a little, like, can read a little bit, you can kind of, like, piece together what some of it means. Portuguese, though, like, I just look at some of these menus and I'm like, I have absolutely no idea what that means at all. Yeah, yeah, just needs to finish ahead of Oxide. Man, that is so... <laughs> what a terrible first mission. Alright, I need to get a weapon. Did I take Spanish in high school? Yeah. That was the language I chose. You had to choose between, like, Italian, French, and Spanish, and I chose Spanish. I need to get a weapon that I can actually, like, control who I hit. Because I don't know who's ahead of me. Ah, oh, my word. Ah, oh, hold on, hold on. Back up. How do you back up? Go, go. No! Back up! Oh, this is so terrible. I hope she came in first. I, th I think that means I got it. Okay. Totally skill-based. Wait. Did I actually get it? I didn't get it? Did I retry or... Oh my god. Hold on. Let me... Let me see if it unlocked the other one. It didn't come on. What? What a terrible mission. This is so... <laughs> Man, I don't know what they were thinking with... Make sure the AI finishes in front of another AI. And it doesn't matter where you finish. That is just... Not cool. All right, I'll remember that. Fracas, fracasada. I'll have to remember. It means try all over again. Mission failed. Get rid of this crap. See if I fall too far behind, then I can't hit oxide. Get too far ahead, and I can't really do anything either.
Alright, this is the best weapon I can have for this level. I just gotta somehow catch up to them. Come on, go. I wish I could see who was in second and first from here. There's no rubber banding for me. I, I cannot catch them. They're only pulling further ahead, which is the crazy part. Something tells me he's always in first unless I actually hit him with something. See, the drift just, like, you swing out too much to initiate it in most spots. I cannot even catch them. I miss the boosts. Boost was, like, my only hope. It's over. I can't even catch them. That is so bad. Can you pre- like, what are the next two missions? What do they tell you to do? I'm curious. If it's even worth my time. Collect more Wumpas than Oxide? Ugh. Terrible speedrun category. Nothing is about, like, doing things fast. Everything is, like, just hope that you have better luck than the AI. Alright, so I'm gonna need to slow down. I'm gonna slow down now. Hold on. I don't even know what the brake button is. Okay. Keep you back. Mission 3 is hitting Cortex at least three times, then finishing ahead of him. I mean, that one's, that one's a little bit more fine, I guess. It doesn't rely as much on randomness. It seems like once I hit Oxide, though, he's like, he's out. There's no way he's freaking catching. Nice. I just hope that I don't have to finish ahead of him. Oh, he's catching her. Come on, Yaya, pick up the pace. Come on. Oh my god, he's getting close. Okay, she should be good. Oh, it's get- Oh my god, no, it's so close. No! Man, that must have been a photo finish. If you were looking at that mini-map boy, he was closing that gap. It was practically one red dot on top of the other. Well, that's... that's pretty intense. Alright, what are we doing here? We gotta get more Wumpa Fruit than Oxide. Whoa, what is... The frame rate in my game capture looks worse than in person here. What the fuck? Uh. No, there's something wrong with my game capture. I don't know if it was like this the whole time. Has the frame rate looked like this to you guys the whole time? Or has it only just gotten this bad? It just got choppy. <laughs> well, that would explain it, because my game capture just, like, shit the bed. Okay, give me a moment. I don't know what the hell happened to it. Unless that's my Zebo.
Oh, I hope that's not the Zebo. I mean, it's still on. I, I don't know if that's the game capture or the Zebo. Let's find out. Yeah, I mean, it is an Elgato product, so I don't doubt that it's the game capture. It can't be the Zebo because the game is running fine on my Zebo. It looks fine. Requires USB port 3.0 to function properly. Listen, what do you think I have this plugged into, Elgato? Elgato is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> what do they think I have this plugged into right now? Alright, let me just like replug it in. Give me a moment. Still kind of shit frame rate. 19 FPS? What is this talking about? I've never seen this notification on Elgato before. It's receiving fewer video frames than expected. Click below to read about reasons for frames getting dropped for possible solutions. I have never seen that notification before. What the fuck? Is my Elgato just straight up breaking right now? I've never seen anything like this. I mean, the crazy thing is I have it plugged into a USB 3.0, so I'm not really sure why it's asking me to plug it into a USB 3.0. And I cannot plug this into my other game capture because when I do, I don't get audio. like it might be fixed. Man, do not buy an Elgato product. That's all I can say. Don't, just save yourself the headache if you can avoid it. It's not worth it. Nothing but headaches with their goddamn products over the years. 
but unfortunately, I have to use it for certain consoles because for some reason my other game capture does not want to output audio um, on like older consoles. So I have to, I mean, like I can't use my new one for old consoles even with an adapter. So it makes me use the freaking Elgato. I think it's time that I gotta start looking for alternatives. Because back back then, there, there really weren't many good game capture devices. Now I'm sure there's plenty. Okay, so I gotta get more Wumpa Fruit than him. Shouldn't be too bad, right? fruit. Oh, I think that's what I have. I, I think my one that lets me do 4K is, is Aver Media. Does not output audio. Okay, it's just one lap. Well, at least since it ha started having those frame rate issues, at least um, now it, it makes the game look smoother, right? The external Aver Media had needed a trick. See, that's the thing. I don't use internal game capture cards because my PC can't handle that shit. What did you have to do for the external? Because that's probably the same issue that I'm having. It's a game capture that allows me to play games in 4K, but like still stream them. Obviously not in 4K. But for some reason, that thing just refuses when I have to, like, run my converter, say, like, composite the HDMI, and then when I put it into the game capture, it just refuses to give audio. Gotta remember, this is not really a race. It's more about the fruit. Had to, had to have an extra audio in. Let me see if there's a fruit off to the side. No. Create a new mic that's HDMI in. I don't have any kind of mixer or anything, so I'm not sure. directly? Interesting. So you make a new audio source as a microphone and then use that as like HDMI and then it detects your Aver Media? I'll have to try that. See if I can figure it out. Okay, this one I need to hit Cortex three times and then finish ahead of him, right? Yeah. Doesn't seem too bad. I still don't think mission mode is the way to go in this game, though. Okay, I was wondering if it was gonna give me all the different weapons. I'm gonna wait until I'm a little closer. Ooh, the skill shot, though. A skillful miss. Would I ever get the Steam Deck? I mean, my Steam Deck is on pre-order, but they haven't emailed me to let me know that it's ready to actually buy. Okay, I hit him three times already. Now I just gotta finish in front of him. Which is gonna be harder than it looks with how much he's hitting me. Come on, get him. No. Oh, wow. 
wow, I still got him. Okay. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm, I'm decent with the bombs. As long as he don't hit me here. Don't do it, Cortex. He's right behind me. He missed. Off terrain, come on. Good. Elgato stream deck? Oh, I have a sh I have one of those things. But I don't have it hooked up anymore right now. Alright, I don't know what I need to do in this one. Maybe the icons will help me figure it out. Maybe I just need to finish ahead of... Oh, shit. <laughs> My god. At least he got hit, too. I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen. Such an extreme reaction to that. Wow, I like this course. This course is pretty crazy. It's like an obstacle course. Just beat him? Okay, yeah, because I was going to say, this is a pretty tough course. Missed that shortcut. That actually seems like a really good shortcut to hit. Cuts a lot. I could, I could maybe see myself doing speedruns of all missions. I still think GP mode is the way to go, though. I, I would... I, I think that's much preferred, honestly. You caring about... You mean you're caring about the console now because of this stream? Yeah, I mean, there's some games on here worth a look. I haven't gotten to, you know, be the main attraction yet. I'm saving, I'm saving those for a little bit deeper into my Zebo streams. We got to get some of the jank out of the way first. But all I'll say is, if you guys ever, if you ever see me streaming Double Dragon on here, believe me, I'll make a note of it in my notifications. That is like the game. That is the reason to own a Zebo because it is not a Double Dragon port. It is a exclusive Double Dragon game only on Zebo, and it actually looks amazing and is supposed to be pretty damn good. And I've avoided looking at gameplay for that for several years now, so that way when I go into it, it'll be nice and fresh experience it without being spoiled. Ah, oh, I missed the shortcut again. I'm so bad about that. This game has been fun, though. I like this game. This is fun. It's a it's a decent little car racer. It, it reminds me of playing like stuff like Merlin Racing on New On or like, uh, Miracle Space Race on PS One, that kind of stuff. Except better. It has better track design. Frame rate's worse though. All right, crash mission. Let's see what we got. Yeah, there is a Prey game on here. This one is collect 10 Wumpas and win. Okay. Alright, so most of these missions are not that... Really, the worst mission so far is that first one, the escort mission. That is just... Ugh. 
But, you know, I gotta say, at least that's the first mission, because that would be a high reset point. I wish I could figure out how you do a fast start in this game, though. That's really holding me back in the beginning here. Also, does anybody know, are these fruit actually adding to my speed? Like, what, what are they doing? I don't know if it's top speed or what. Ah. No. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure how close Portuguese was to Spanish. But it must be it must be close enough that you can like roughly translate it. I actually have been wanting to learn Spanish for the fun of it. Just because knowing Spanish is it's just it's just a good thing to be able to learn how to speak in the US at least. You'll, you'll make plenty of use out of it. And I mostly want to do it for the fun of it, because I actually did used to really... Okay, the first two years in high school, when I was trying to learn Spanish, I, did, I didn't care. Didn't care for the teachers, just didn't feel... Didn't care to learn it. But then in the final year that I was learning it, I actually really enjoyed it. Pretty much straight A's in that class. Of course, I really don't remember much of what I learned, but it was fun. It's also a pretty damn easy language to learn compared to, like, Japanese. That's, like, you know, that's that's a serious commitment. First place. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the Sonic 2 movie. It was fun. I would like to see it again at some point. Alright, what am I doing here? Just win? Okay. <laughs> nice mission. really spreading out that content. Okay, remember to look at my mini-map, know that there's a shortcut coming up here on the right. Yeah, the shared alphabet. That's why it, it wouldn't... I don't know. I just... I wouldn't mind the challenge of learning a second language. I think it could be fun. Plus, there's a lot of uses for Spanish in the US. I'd be able to watch Spanish streamers. <laughs> Actually, that's probably a really good way of, of going about, like, picking up learning any language. Is like, just tune in the Twitch streams in the language you want to learn and just watch them and listen. Read the chat. Are you serious with that? Uh, no, I'm gonna lose. no way. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> I 
I've, he I've heard about Balloon World Cup. That actually sounds amazing, honestly. You, like, you're in a cluttered room or something, and you have to, like, work with another person to keep a balloon from dropping on the floor. That sounds, uh, super creative. Is there an archive of his... Are those streams in English anywhere, like subtitles or anything, or, or would you just have to watch it in Spanish? Ah, I gotta remember, stay to the left here. Well, I remember during the R Place thing, like the Reddit R Place. His, his streams were the reason why... Uh, they were like wars going on in R Place. One of them, at least. People warring with the pixels. Alright, last lap. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna hold on to this, I think. I know what no mames means. What? That is some bullshit right there. No mames, god damn. See, I know it. Believe me, if you watch Mexican Runner, you know what no mames is. I don't think I'd ever do a stream in that exclusively. That would be... You'd have to be too fluent. Alienates too many people, too, that can't understand Spanish. But... Was that a fast start? It might have been. I think you just gotta press the A button on every light. Did I get hit by that thing again? Why is it always me? It's honestly the hardest jump in this game right there. Alright, just gotta pass these two guys. This is probably one of the hardest missions, because... Actually trying to finish first in this is sometimes not easy. Okay, stay left on the jump. But not too far left, because then you fall. There's definitely rubber banding, I think. Maybe a little bit. Ooh, that was me reading chat. Come on! No, oh, okay. Oh, that was close. I could swear they were right on top of me. Oh, okay. Second to last mission. You need to beat Oxide, but specifically mentioned using a bomb to slow him down. Okay, so maybe he's, like, normally super fast, and you just gotta keep bombing him. Even though it does have his portrait, so you know what? I think you do actually have to hit him once with a bomb. 
Okay, I think I finally figured out how to get start faster. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh. If I have to use a bomb, that's not going to be easy. Because I need the RNG to actually get it. Come on, come on. <laughs> I hate the off-road here. Not the biggest fan of this course. I can't even catch this guy. I don't think there's really any rubber banding in this, gonna be honest. I, like, maybe I'm second-guessing it now. Because if I fall behind, it's really hard to catch up. Only thing I seem to catch up with is hitting boosts. Okay, there's my bomb. Come on. It's never failed me before. Get him. Oh, we got him. Okay. Yeah, and it counted. Now I just gotta beat him. Oh my god. Get your clunches ready. Pet your Zebos in chat for good luck. Come on, come on, come on. Fell in that hole. <laughs> what? No, get off that. Ah, oh, it's so close. Turn, hit it. Oh. Go. Oh my god. <laughs> that is one of the most intense races I have ever done in a kart racer. That should be the final mission. That was crazy. Okay, final mission. Just win? Okay. Holy crap. Look at that course. What the heck? Wait, are these unique tracks just to mission mode? I don't remember a track design like that when I was doing GP. Unless I just never paid attention to it. I mean, I remember this laser course. But I don't remember it looking like that. Maybe, maybe it did. Oh my god. This is Oxide's home planet. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know what? This is the same course from GP. I gotta remember there's a shortcut there. A lot of shortcuts in this game. In case you're wondering, I am trying to get these boxes, but the stiff controls are not the easiest to do that with. Very stiff controls. At least he did it too. Yeah, no, I'm definitely warming up to this game. The more I get used to the controls, I mean, don't don't get me wrong, the controls are still pretty abysmal at times, but it is a functional, fun enough car racer, an actually decent Zebo game. Not exclusive, but you can argue that it's like, well, it's ex this is the only console version, like home console version of the game, which is a plus. Jumped over that. Hey, thanks, Joe. Thank you for the nine months. How much for the games? So I don't know the conversion rate, but I'm pretty sure they were like somewhere around like $10 and under range, I think. There's a chart on, like, a Wikipedia that lists the price for each one, and they seem pretty cheap from what I can tell. Yeah, 
No, these are, I'm pretty sure this is all unique tracks and stuff. Like, you're not gonna find repeating tracks in this, to my knowledge. It's, it's kind of its own unique racing game in the Crash series. If the, the easiest way if you want to play this game, because obviously getting the Zebo version is not gonna be easy, uh, play the Engage version. The only thing is you're gonna have a screen that's like squished. Not as uh, good of a view angle. It's more vertical. Okay, I survived that turn. That's like one of the hardest turns in the game. And I made the jump good. This is the last lap. Final turn. Of course, the hardest turn in the game is right at the finale of the mission mode. Alright, and that's the last mission. That was decently fun. Most of the missions weren't quite as bad as I thought they'd be. I could see myself doing all mission speedruns. Um, maybe not right this second, because I'm sure people want to see other games, but I, I can definitely see myself coming coming back and, and doing a couple speedruns, throwing the runs up on the board. S let's We can have the Zebo versus N-Gage war. What's faster, Zebo or N-Gage? Because the world record right now is N-Gage, but you know, we can see how the Zebo can compare. Okay, that was fun. That's pretty much all the content in the game. I, I enjoyed this this one for sure. Who's ready for some Ridge Racer?